Thanks for joining us, Max. No worries. Nice to see you. Um, okay, so we're talking about Borough Market, um, talking about everything around here, near our offices, all in SE1, uh, as you know. So, look, let, let's kick off. What food uh, do you reckon at Borough would feature on your Instagram? Uh, um, probably one of the, the, they've got a sort of seafood uh, section there. Yep. So you can get like live calamari, they've got giant nice. paella dishes. Yep. I'll probably just shoot a little top down on the paella dish. Very nice. Okay. Tell, me, uh, tell me some of your favourite memories of Borough Market. Because Borough Market is our sort of almost like our local. It is. Uh, you know, I, I've got a lot of memories of sort of warm summer nights going, uh, uh, sampling the beers. <laughs> And obviously, the cheeky Tuesday afternoon haircut whenever I need to uh, smarten up as well. Uh, what else is of interest to you at Borough and around SE1? What else do you like to do? Uh, it's amazing that there's now a much more sort of thriving cultural scene around mm. SE1. You wouldn't believe it, but kind of when we came here maybe eight, nine, ten years ago, there was a third of what's going on now. So yeah. you've got Amira, you've got Flatiron that's True. grown up. They've re- reinvested so much money into Borough Market now. Sometimes it's really nice just to get away. You can go down Southern Cathedral, uh-huh. read a book. It's a lovely place just to get away for half an hour, Very especially true. when the sun is shining. Uh, for someone who's never visited the market, where would you take them to show? Shop. So shop first and then go for lunch. You can't beat fish. Yeah, man. I mean, it's got a sign up saying best fish and chips in London, which you can... Is that true? Ignore. Totally true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's just badass. Straight out of there, salt and vinegar, sauce, you're good to go. If uh, if you had £100 in yeah. readies, right there in your hand, uh, if you wanted to spend it on anything, where would you visit? Tell me. So probably the Paul Smith Boutique, to be honest with you. Very nice. Because... Uh, it's got a little bit of history it's quite nice that's where they filmed uh, Lock Stock Two Smoking Barrels they did right next door little known fact there for you <laughs> uh, but they just got lovely loads of boutique stuff true obviously I'm usually too broke to buy anything from there fair enough but if you're putting the readies in my hand that's where I'm spending it smashing uh, Max thanks thanks a lot we'll see you on the next uh, series for Full Circle but for now I'll speak to you soon cracking thank you cheers